I don't think it's a controversial statement to say that Apple has the best like technology ecosystem around. And so far we've made videos about the cheapest Apple ecosystem, the most expensive Apple ecosystem and all sorts of stuff in between. But what I want to do today is with how much I'm always praising the Apple refurbished website, let's see how much the best refurbished Apple ecosystem that we could get could cost. Now, if you've not yet purchased a refurbished, you might initially scoff at the thought of buying those products, but fam, let me tell you, that's crazy talk, and you should seriously consider buying these Apple products refurbished. So why do I think that? Let's find out. I don't want to slam this because like it's the, I don't want to break it. What's up everyone? I'm the Everyday Dad. And if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Like I said in the intro, this isn't necessarily about being cheap. This is about stretching your dollar to go as far as it can. And I think because the way Apple treats their refurbished products, it's crazy to not purchase those if they are available. But that's from my particular vantage point. What if you've never heard that Apple sells refurbished products? Gary, what do you even talk about when you talk about that section of their site? Well, Apple has a program where when somebody returns or trades in a piece of tech, they will give it a pretty serious cleaning slash restoration effort. Then they'll turn around and sell it on a specific part of their store, Obviously, that is called the refurbished section of their store. Now, at this point in the video, you might be thinking to yourself, well, that sounds pretty risky to me. I mean, am I just, Gary, you trying to get me to just buy somebody else's junk? No, it's not actually junk. Apple replaces the outer shell, they'll clean the insides, and they'll replace the battery if the device has one. So in essence, you are getting a brand new computer slash phone slash etc. And the best part is Apple treats these like they are brand new. So you'll get the same warranty, the same return policy, and if you really want to, you can buy Apple Care. It's not hyperbole to say that you are basically getting the exact same thing as somebody buying new, you're just paying a significant amount less for it. Sounds crazy, right? Well, it, it's not. Honestly, the only difference that you'll see is on the box, there will be a little part that says refurbished on it. Here, let me show you. This is the box for my MacBook Pro 16. Ooh, it's gross. It's, it's boxes get disgusting. So this is the box for my MacBook Pro 16. And you can see it's a basically a brand new box. I've got a whole video talking about this refurbished thing. But you see Apple certified refurbished. That's the only difference between the computer itself, the box, the packaging, everything. All right, let's start building that ecosystem. So for today, we're going to be aiming at the working professional and students. So gamers, devs, and others, you may not be catered to specifically here, but I would say you should stick around because I bet there will still be probably a thing or two that you can glean from today's video. So let's start with the hub of this video, the brain, if you will. And for this, I, there's, there's a reason that this is sitting here. For this, I gotta go with the M1 Mac Mini. Buying this brand new is still one of the best value computers that you can get, period. And because you can snag one of these refurbished and save a hundred or more dollars, forget about it. I'm, I'm serious. Well, I love the M1 MacBooks. I love the new Dell computers. I love a lot of technology. The M1 Mac Mini is literally my favorite computer ever made. This is my personal desktop computer, and I use it every single day, and I never get sick of recommending this. People on the street, I could be walking down the street, other people are there, they're totally minding their own business, and I'll be like, hey you, hey, you don't know me, we've never met, you should go buy an M1 Mac Mini. I try to convert everybody to the way of this computer. And look, refurbished, you can get the base model for $589. I don't even need to say anything else for this section of the video. For that, we just done. We're done. Video over. Click all the things in the description. For that price, you get a cutting edge 8 core M1 processor, 256 gigabyte solid state drive, 8 gigabytes of unified memory, and the only M1 Mac computer that has a usable amount of I.O. in the back. Look at that. You get Ethernet, HDMI, power, all sorts of cool stuff. If you do need a little more umph with the upgraded memory or storage, keep an eye out on that refurbished site because while it wasn't in stock during my check for this video, the inventory changes almost by the day and I have previously seen some of the 2 terabyte, 16 gigabyte models on there before. Back to the base model though. That's wild. I literally cannot think of another computer that you can get for $600 that will match this for power or functionality. I can't think of very many computers that you can get for a thousand bucks that can do the same, but for 600 bucks, this being the main hub of your computer enterprise will really open you up to a lot of the cool software that Apple has and that works really well on the ARM system of the M1 chips. If you are a creator, it's really hard to argue against Final Cut Pro, that's the video software that I personally use. If you are not a creative and you are managing a team or working from home or you're at the office and you have no budget for expensive enterprise productivity software, Apple actually has a suite of programs called iWork that will get literally everything you need done. And one of the cool things is a lot of Apple first party software is getting some really big changes and some key enhancements. 
I think Apple software is going to make it real hard for new companies and teams to want to invest in more expensive and sometimes less functional legacy software. Though if you work for a big company, you'll probably continue using the oldest version of Microsoft Outlook from like the Windows Vista era that your executives can keep chugging along because they already signed into like contracts. They don't care. They got other people to schedule and check their email for them. You, yeah, hey, hopefully it'll work. Okay, this is an ecosystem video and it's not a video specifically about the Mac Mini, but this is just so darn good. It kind of steals the spotlight from everything else. I really have a hard time recommending another desktop computer unless you really want an all-in-one and obviously get an iMac or you just hate Mac computers, period. But I bet Apple is selling a truckload of these because again, nothing else comes close. Okay, Gary, enough lavishing praise in the Mac Mini. We need some kind of a way. We already, we got the brain. We need some kind of a way to call or connect with teammates or work while not at our desk. And for me, nothing exemplifies working from other places more than my iPhone. I do so much work for my iPhone that if I didn't need a computer specifically for video editing, and I guess I've proven in previous videos that you don't even need a computer for that either. Uh, I'd only own a phone. For this, yes, you could go buy a brand new iPhone SE for far less than anything on the refurbished site today, but it is kind of a dated look and I've recommended it a ton in the past. So let's open up that aperture a bit and see what we can get refurbished. I think the best choice here is gonna be the iPhone X in silver. You can get the 64 gigabyte model for $549 or 350 bucks off its retail offering. With this phone, you'll get the Apple A11 processor, that beautiful 5.8 inch Super Retina OLED screen, and it's even unlocked and should work with your preferred wireless carrier. Now, the reason I went here was mainly for the look of the phone. As great a value as the SE is, I do personally prefer the look of the new iPhones, and part of tech ownership is absolutely enjoying the aesthetics of what you own. If you're gonna spend this money on this stuff, you gotta enjoy it, right? I mean, it's not all about like, okay, it's got this specific technology, it's got this tech, this processor, this is what I like. You gotta like what it looks like, right? With this iPhone, you'll get access to a 4G connection and can handle all of your meetings on the go. Plus, if you are managing a social media presence of any kind, the camera will be good enough, and with AirDrop on the Mac Mini, you'll be able to share that photo and video content seamlessly. Now, it won't have the mind-bogglingly good battery life from something like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but for the cost savings, you can easily bring along a spare battery. Or like 15 spare batteries. Okay, let's do the math really quickly. 31.25-ish extra batteries. Dang, phones can phones can be expensive, y'all. You will get a reasonable 12 to 13 hours of life, which just past the hurdle for good enough for the office worker and thumbs up all around. Now, one of the funny things, and as I was researching this, one of the oddities of buying a slightly older phone like this is it says in the box, you'll get ear pods included. When was the last time we got a pair of those with a phone? Like, Back in the dinosaur days of technology, when you actually got things in the box. Weird, right? If you are worried about buying an older model phone and not getting continuous updates, that's not something that I would worry about at all. Look at this. The iPhone 6S, which is a few model years older than the X, is still getting iOS 15. So I have no doubts that the A11 powering this phone will keep getting updates for years to come. Seriously, Apple refurbished. I'm telling you, team, I'm telling you, their refurbished stuff is so good. Okay, we've got the computer, we've got the phone. For most folks, that's probably all the ecosystem they'll need. I would probably bet most people just need the phone, but I'm a bit of a tech nerd and a bit of a completionist, so let's round this out. In previous videos, we've heard me talk about managing notifications without being rude and looking at your phone constantly during meetings, which please don't do that. As we start going back into the office, please do not do that. So we've also got a selection of watches on the refurbished site. You can go anywhere from the more budget Series 3 through the current Series 6. If you were trying to save every single dollar and just need the basics like that checking notifications, you can get the Series 3, even cellular. And with that, you'll get most of the Apple functionality of an Apple Watch. But if you're a big fitness buff and you want to use your watch for tracking those sorts of things, I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Series 3. It was great when it came out, but there is better tech now. For the actual ecosystem we're building today, I'm going to recommend the Series 6. Yes, it is about $100 more than the 3 at $339, but come on, you get a huge amount of additional functionality going on here that I think it's definitely worth that extra $100. You'll get better water resistance, better battery life, better display, better GPS accuracy, better basically everything. The Series 6, much like the Mac Mini, is my favorite watch of all time. I mean, check out this sweet, can you see this? Check out this sweet tan line I have from wearing mine during my six runs a week. 
I'm pointing this out because so many of you poke fun at me at this in the comments. There are more things that you can get on the refurbished side like iPads, iPods, Apple TV, and other things, but for the office worker, that's what we're going to do today. Now, if I can cheat a little bit, I'm going to throw in one new device, and that's because it doesn't exist on the refurbished one because that would be kind of gross buying somebody's used AirPods. I'm going to throw in a pair of AirPods Pro. Now, these basically take your phone and turn it into an actual private office no matter where you go. They've got great noise cancellation, decent audio quality, good battery life, and they are so small, they fit in any bag or any pocket. And with all of this tech, the phone, the computer, all of that, they pair instantly to those and whichever one that is active they will automatically pair with those so if i have my watch on my airpods automatically connect with that if i move to my phone they automatically reconnect over here it's so good i mean being stuck working from home for almost two years it gets real grating sitting at your home office every single day of your life so i've been trying to go out to a park or somewhere else to take my meetings and get some office work done they've really made that the experience for me okay and they aren't refurbished so we'll consider them more of an asterisk than an official part of this list, which I mean, it's a YouTube video. Like how official can it be? We're basically making the rules up as we go. But at the end of the day, so what, right? How much have we spent on this refurbished ecosystem? And is this the best thing since sliced apples? Get it? You thought I was going to say something else. All right. Mac mini, $589. iPhone X, $549. And the Apple watch series six for $399. And maybe some AirPods Pro, but not today. Not today. They're an asterisk. They're not part of the official list. So this will be a grand total of $1,537. I deal with a lot of tech and tech. That's not bad. That's less expensive than most of the laptops that I check out anymore. And I appreciate that that's not cheap. And it is a mortgage payment for me. But sometimes you have to invest in your business. And I think this is a fantastic price for all of the functionality that you would get out of this specific ecosystem. I mean, for this, you get access to everything that Apple offers. And look, fam, I get it. There, Yes, there could be potentially better individual parts of any of these things we've talked about today, minus the Mac Mini and the Apple Watch. So maybe the phone. But the point of, and what makes Apple so darn good, is how well everything works together. Look, I personally use both Mac and Windows on a daily basis. And this is going to sound very strange coming from a person that, that makes primarily Apple content. But I don't use either of those things because of brand loyalty or because somebody pays me. I use what works. If Windows takes the lead from what works, as it did during the OS Catalina nightmares, then I'll use Windows. I dumped Apple for like a whole year not that long ago because of how much I hated Catalina. If Apple leads, as it is currently doing and probably will continue to do, I'll use Apple because for me, the functionality is what matters most. And if you can get that functionality for far less, well, my friends, that's a win, win, win. We did three wins because there's three things in the ecosystem, right? And if you like this video and you would like to check out some of my other Apple ecosystem videos and figure out how you can build something that works best for you, you can find that playlist by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.